In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Text Cortex. I'll go over everything you need to know in order to get started using Text Cortex. So you can get started completely for free and I'll show you how you can do that. So first, what exactly do they do? They help you with knowledge collaboration, so you can integrate and collaborate with your knowledge. Then they help you in web searches, so they have a generative search experience. Then they help you with brand personas, so you can teach AI your style and tone and stay consistent. And then they have a writing assistant. So if you want to get started, just go and click on get started for free right here. And now in order to get started, you can just sign up with Google, Microsoft, Apple, Discord or email. So then in order to get started, you will need to answer a couple of questions. So first, I am a select your role right here. For example, I'll go with customer support, then and one to rewrite sentences, increase productivity, personalize my AI or any of these other ones. For example, I will go with increased productivity. Then how did you hear about us? Just select any of these, for example, online search and then click continue. Now, if you know a friend with the same problem, you can get premium together if you invite that friend. So if you think you have at least one friend that might have the same problem to solve, you can refer them and enjoy premium together for 14 days for free. But you can just click claim it later and then you can get started right now. So in the free plan, you get 20 recurring daily creations. You get GPT-4 and Cloud-3 access, but that's limited. You get up to three personas and 50 MB storage for files. So go and click start creating and then you will see this right here. So in order to get started, here you can write your prompt, type add to use personas or slash to access files and hashtag to access templates. So first, before we get into this, this is basically Xeno chat, but before we get into this, I want to go into the customizations because here you can actually create personas. So if we click individual personas, you can actually create a persona where you train an AI to kind of match the way that you write and the way that you are basically. So you can create your individual persona right here. So you can enter the picture, the name, and then here the persona background, for example, virtual William Shakespeare, etc. And then you can kind of train this AI to be similar to you. And then you can have it, for example, respond to emails or whatever you want to do with it. And then it will just look like you respond so then they also have templates right here so if you click create a new template you can create a template but if you click explore prompt marketplace right here you already have a marketplace full of different prompt templates for example generate a list of 30 youtube tags based on high traffic lsi keywords for a specific topic etc so then you can filter by a category for example customer service then you can select an occupation so any of these such as product manager and now you can see there are two left right here. So now in the dashboard right here, there are some quick actions and I've already shown you the create your persona space, but you also have a knowledge base so you can centralize your knowledge and search all your data in Xeno chat. Then you can use Xeno chat, which is what I will get into next. You can also translate texts and PDFs, rewrite your texts, search the internet, compose your notes, create templates and establish your organization. Now for now, I'm going to click use Xeno chat right here. So you can also add Xeno chat to your browser to bring it anywhere on any site. And now here you can basically just write what you want. So here you have different sections. So for example, here it says GPT-4. This is basically the model that you can use, but you can also pick Cloud3 Opus or GPT-4.0, etc. Now I'll just keep it to GPT-4.0. Now here, instead of web search, you can also search a specific website to get the information from, such as Wikipedia, Scholar, or any of these other ones. So for students, for example, Scholar is very helpful, but for example, I'll go with Reddit. Then in the knowledge base right here, you can go to create your first knowledge base. And here in Xeno, the assistant, you can actually choose what you want. For example, Enigma, the prompt engineer, Sally, the sales manager, Phil, the product manager. So then you can actually get a trained AI that actually does what you want. For example, if I'm in customer support, then I can find someone that is in customer support right here. So here they don't actually have a customer support person, but then you can just create your own persona. So for example, I'll just go with the product manager right here, and then you will basically be talking to Phil, the product manager. So then here you can simply write a prompt. You can attach any files or links, 
and you can even record your voice right here to just say the prompt basically and then once you click on the enter then this specific person or persona will help you with your problem so this is better than for example chat gpt because you can actually get a trained ai in a specific field chat gpt is just very general but if you for example ask linus the programmer then you are actually asking a trained ai programming bot so you can do the same with copywriting or you can create your own persona to literally use for anything now if you want to create a new chat you can just click new chat right here and then you have a new chat so then here in the search part you can also search stuff on the internet then in the marketplace you again have all of these personas and templates basically so if you here go to select occupation and then go with for example customer service representative then here you have a customer service representative persona that you can basically use to ask questions to and to help you with your problems so this tool is really helpful and now you basically know how you can use it so if this text cortex tutorial was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said i will see you in the next video.